So without further ado, we will start on our backs today. So by finding our Shavasana, just come and lie down on your backs in a, for you, comfortable position. I like to always open my feet as wide as my mat and let my uh, toes really drop, my heels flop open. And then I always lift my shoulders first just to spread my shoulder blades on my mat. Lift my hips just to sink my hips into my mat. Bring my chin slightly towards my chest, not too much, just enough to place like a, a, an egg or something, an Easter egg between my chin and my chest. And then I open my hands slightly wider than my mat, let my hand palms face up. My fingers are soft, toes are soft, whole body is soft. And in this softness, in this sweetness, find your stillness. And whatever that means for you today. So the name of the sacral chakra, it is called, the Sanskrit name is Vadisthana chakra, which actually means sweetness. So set an intention for yourself for this practice that is very sweet, very soothing, very soft and has all those beautiful qualities of the feminine while also being strong, consistent as a masculine. So allow yourself to feel yourself, to heighten your sensations, your gateway, your connection to your inner world and the outer world. So can you really start to smell? Can you really start to see, even with eyes closed, different shades, different drops of light and shadow? Can you really start to hear? And taste? And feel? Feel the room around you. Feel the temperature, texture of your mat. Feel your clothes on your body. And then feel the more subtle sensations of this moment. Allow your mind to fluctuate and transition without holding on to any thoughts. Just knowing that your thoughts are there and letting them flow. The beauty of the balance of our sacral chakra is finding a flow state while also finding a way of consistency, of containment. So finding consistency in our flow. So not just, for example, letting our thoughts wreak havoc, allowing them to be and to have a certain sense of control without force of what to choose, or simply to choose to flow. Then very slowly start to bend through your knees, place your feet and glide your feet towards you. Bring your fingertips to your heels. As your fingertips, when they reach the heels, slide them forward just a little bit. And then bring your lower back into your mat, open your shoulder blades 
and start to bring the hands up and behind you. And then if you can, start to touch and hold on to your elbows. So now our chest is slightly lifted, shoulder blades tuck into the ground. Soften your face, your chin is slightly towards the chest, and now we'll start to deepen our breath, focusing on our bellies. So imagine your belly is like a well of orange. That's the color of our sacral chakra, of our sweetness today, sweet oranges, a gateway of orange in your belly. Now this color, this aura might help you in your breathing. So what we'll do is we'll start to deepen our breath, starting from the belly. As we inhale, we will turn our belly into a balloon really inhaling all the air we can so push your belly up push your chest up draw the draw the air rather through the back of your throat and then as you exhale slowly start to allow the air to travel all the way down and at the end of your exhale try to retain the breath as you retrain retain the breath try to suck your belly in scoop your belly in so you create this like hollowed out form of the belly kind of like this so your belly moves towards the rib cage you're pushing the lower ribs down lower back down so try to do this a few times in your own rhythm your own pace without force so keep the the transitions away from your face keep your face soft keep your mouth soft Deep inhales through the nose, deep exhales through your nose. Really feeling the chest expand with your inhale. And with your exhale, really hollowing out the belly. If you have just eaten, try to do this breathing mechanism just slightly softer, slightly slower. So we're activating our digestive system here our blood circulation, also stimulating our lymphatic system and massaging our inner organs. belly that your lower back will start to push slightly more into the ground and your pelvis will tilt a little bit upwards just let that happen let that help you in this breath in this Uddiyana Bandha activation of our Uddiyana Bandha slowly slowly come back to your natural breath very softly very smoothly as if you're moving through water bring your hands towards your belly and make little fists and start to massage yourself with your fists just massaging the whole belly start with the area near your pubic bone and move up find your solar plexus maybe you move down again maybe move in circles maybe you stroke yourself with your fists and try to feel whatever erupts inside of you through this massage through this movement and then release the fists place your arms or your hands flat on your belly and make circular movements clockwise direction over your whole belly and down let your left hand or your right hand rather rest on your belly and let your left hand travel towards your heart 
and circle left hand and right hand clockwise. And then let both hands become still, become quiet. Find your stillness again. And imagine that orange well underneath your right arm from your belly. And imagine a green well, a source of fresh radiating green underneath your left hand. And then imagine a flow of orange with your inhalation traveling from your belly to your heart. And with your exhalation, a flow of green traveling from your heart to your belly. And imagine these two colors blending as you inhale, as you exhale, finding their own free expression. Activating your whole system with flow, with constant change, with softness, like a dance inside of yourself, with yourself. And then from this space, allow one intention for yourself to rise up to the top of your mind. One thing you'd like to gift yourself in this practice, this morning, today. Really dig in your hands, into your belly, into your heart. Take one deep inhale through your nose. Cleansing, exhale, side out. Now you can keep your eyes closed if you want. We will stay in this position, but just check your position for a minute. So feel your heels again and slide your heels forward just very slightly. Lift your toes and then plant your toes into your mat, especially your big toe, root it down. Then from here, push your butt into the mat, push it down so firmly that you start to create a little arch in your back and there's some space between the lower back and your mat. Push your shoulders into the ground, chin towards your chest very slightly. Now as we inhale, we're going to lift our pelvis, lift our hips, and we're going to bring the arms back in one long flow. Exhale here. Inhale, push onto your heels, push onto your big toes, bring your hips up and bring your hands Arms overhead, really stretch it out. Activate your glutes. As you exhale, bring the arms back down. Bring your butt and your whole back back down. As you inhale, start to arch through the spine. Then gently pick yourself up. Arms go back. Push onto the heels. Push your heels slightly forward. And then tuck your belly. Activate your abdominals. And slowly, slowly come down as you exhale. Keep the abdomen active, keep your core active. Last inhale pushes you up. Push yourself higher. Activate your glutes, activate your thighs. Now stay here and only bring your hands, arms down. Now robot your arms, so you push your elbows into your mat, push firmly onto the elbows and the upper arms, hand palms are facing one another, open your fingers wide, tuck your belly, your belly will help to release the lower back as well as the activation of the glutes. Push your heels forward, stay here. As you inhale, either you stay here pushing on your elbows or you start to bend through the right knee Flex your toes. Either you stay here or maybe you bring your left hand onto your right knee. Push yourself up. Either you stay here or maybe you start to stretch the right leg, pointing the toes. Inhale here. Exhale, come back to where you came from. So bend the knee, flex the toes. Place the left hand arm down, robot the arms, and slowly place your right foot down. One exhale brings you down very slowly. Inhale pushes you back up. Push onto your elbows, fingers wide. Tuck your tail and activate your core. As you inhale, bend through your left leg, flex your foot. Maybe you bring your right hand to your left knee. Push yourself up. 
maybe straighten the leg, point to toes. Inhale here, strong legs. Exhale, bend your knee, flex the toes. Bring the right hand down. Step your left foot down. Inhale, push yourself up. Exhale, very, very slowly. Come back down. Then bring your knees to your chest and roll your knees, roll your whole back slightly softly over your mat and then in the other direction. And step your feet back down. Tick, tickle your heels. As we inhale, we're going to bring our hips back up. Now you can leave the hands here flat on the ground or you can walk the shoulders towards one another, interlace your fingers in a prayer and try to push the pinky fingers down, push your upper arms down, push your lower arms down, your elbows down. Now we're going to do a little bit of a funky movement here. We're going to roll back and forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to arch our spine, bring your butt down slightly and then roll it forward and bring it back up. Roll down and up, roll down and up. Roll down and up. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Try to close your eyes here and really feel this movement. Try to feel this movement in your whole spine and focus on your core. Focus on that orange well, that orange light radiating from your navel. So our sacral chakra is the chakra of our sensuality. It's of letting go of what we're supposed to, to coming to what feels good, what brings us pleasure and joy, what feels good in our bodies. So do this movement a few more times without thinking what it looks like, what you can and cannot do. And then slowly release, bring your hips up, open your arms, very, very slowly bring the hips back down. Then bring your knees to your chest and hold on to your shins. Drag the knees slightly closer to your body. Exhale here. Now we're going to take one deep inhale through the nose. Push our nose in between our knees. Hold your breath for four, three, two, one. Exhale, squeeze yourself tightly. Inhale, stretch out the arms and stretch out the legs. If you can't stay here, if this is too heavy for you, just place your head and shoulders back down. As you exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch. Last one. Exhale, squeeze. Now place your right foot on top of your left. Place your hands behind your thighs. Head back on the mat. Then roll back. And gently, gently, come up. So try to make sure that you're facing the front of your mat and you're sitting at the back of your mat. So you might have to move. I had to move as well. So from here, we're going to come to Virasana, hero pose on our knees. You can choose to keep the feet flat or you can keep your toes tucked. So this will give you an extra challenge, also a good opening in your toes. So try to find your position. Now to start we want to slightly tuck our tail. So if you feel your butt sticking back, draw it in a little bit and bring your pubic bone slightly towards your chest, towards your sternum. Keep the shoulders light and soft. Now as you inhale start to open your arms, stretch out, look at your fingers. Exhale, bring the hands together Bend through the elbows, bring the hands behind your neck. As you inhale, push your butt back, open your chest and push your neck into your hands. As you exhale, start to tuck your tail, round through the spine, bring your pubic bone to your sternum, round through middle back, upper back, open your shoulders and then look at your navel. As you inhale, start by pushing the butt back, activate your core. Then undulate the middle back, coming to the shoulders that come closer together, then opening your throat. As you exhale, tuck your tail, 
roll yourself into a ball here and look at your stomach last one inhale arch the spine roll yourself up do this very slowly push your neck into your hands your hands into your neck exhale start to undulate back to a tiny little ball then bring your hands down and bring your hands forward like pushing something away from you really opening the shoulders now from here very slowly very slowly place your hands down in front of you so you can place them quite far away from you now as we inhale we're going to round through our backs come up and place our left knee to our center towards our nose then we're going to inhale open our leg straighten a leg and place the left foot down into the mat inhale arch your spine exhale make your way back to your child's pose you can untuck uh, untuck the toes now from here place your right hand on the fingertips next to your right shoulder a little bit wider than your mat place your left hand towards your left toes now as we inhale we're going to circle our left hand forwards and to the right lifting our hips coming to a side stretch now we're in a side stretch straighten the left arm towards the right open your chest towards the front of your mat activate your core push your hips forward as you exhale we're going to gently gently roll back down place our butt onto our heels bring both hands to our left foot for a side stretch you can bend through the left knee slightly just to not hang in to our joints and try to place your left foot as hard as you can into the ground inhale here exhale step the hands back forwards roll yourself back up and place both knees together take an inhale here arch the spine look up exhale roll yourself back now as you inhale big round through the spine and place the right knee in between your arms to your chest as you inhale open your right knee step your right foot down straighten the leg now from here as you exhale slowly come to sit onto your left heel place the left hand on the fingertips next to in line with the left shoulder a little bit outside of your mat the right hand comes to touch or moves towards the right leg as you inhale circle your right arm front and to the side lift yourself up for a side stretch breathing to that right lung open your chest open your pelvis your hips push your hips forwards exhale slowly circle back to the right both hands move towards your right leg Keep a little bend in your knee. Breathe into the left lung. Open the left side of your body. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly move the hands forwards. Slowly come up and step both knees together behind you. Now tuck your toes, place your toes in your mat. Push onto your hands. Your hands are shoulder distance apart or slightly wider. From here, start to push out to your hands so you round through the spine, suck in your belly, and then start to lift your knees very slightly. From here, we're going to exhale, keep the knees bent, and come into a turbo dog. So press onto your hands, keep your knees bent completely. As you inhale, stay onto your tippy toes, keep the heels lifted and maybe start to stretch the legs more if the legs don't straighten completely and you have slightly bent knees that's okay just stay here then maybe walk one foot down next foot down one foot down the other foot down open the shoulder blades slightly move the upper arms towards one another now look at your feet and step your feet one step closer so we're in a very narrow downward facing dog Either you stay here and you push the hips up, sucking the belly in, or you try to come onto your left fingertips. 
So either you stay here or you try to hold on to your right ankle with your left hand. Pushing onto the right hand, first making sure the chest is still pointing direction of the top of your mat and the armpits towards the back of the mat. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend through your left elbow and maybe start to look underneath your right armpits. Keep the hips up and back, sitting bones up and back. Tighten the glutes, inhale here. Exhale, step your left hand shoulder distance apart. Plant it back down, spread the fingers, push your hips back. Maybe you come onto your right fingertips. Maybe you bring your right hand to your left ankle. As you exhale, bend through the right elbow and maybe you look under your left armpit. I hope you smell nice. <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale. Place your hand back, shoulder distance. Step your feet back. Bring the feet together. Come into your downward dog first. Now as we inhale, we're going to roll forward to the really round spine. So come onto the tips of your toes. Allow your body to float forwards. Open your shoulders really wide and bring your shoulders just above your wrist. Let your um, pelvis drop just a little bit. So we're not like this, we're in a high plank. From here, as we exhale, we're going to plant our knees down, just the knees. As we inhale, arch through your spine, push your butt to the sky, start to bend your elbows slightly and glue the arms against your chest. So glue the elbows towards you. Now push the chest forwards, inhale here. As you exhale, don't let the elbows flare open, but very slowly come down. Find the strength in your arms to keep the elbows tucked in and back. Now our chest and our chin is on the ground. If this is too much for you, just come back to tabletop with an arched spine. Otherwise, we stay here, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, try to push your right foot back and straighten your leg. So right leg is straight, place it back down. Inhale, straighten your left leg, place it back down. Now try to straighten both legs and place your legs back down. From here, place your toes into the ground. Start to round through the spine. Slide your legs back and come into a cobra position. For this cobra, we're going to open our arms slightly more. So we'll place our fingertips next to our mat. Try to see if you can place your elbows on top of your wrist. So the elbows fl um, flare open, face the sky, and you're strong in your fingertips. If it's too much on the fingertips, you can place the hands flat down. From here, look at your mat. Keep your neck long. Start to push your toenails into your mat, your pubic bone into your mat. Tighten your glutes and tighten your legs entirely. Now tuck your, or activate your core. Push your pubic bone down. As you inhale, slowly roll yourself up chin to your chest. Now when you come up, start to open your throat and slowly with your exhale, come back down. Inhale, roll yourself up, close your throat, start to open the shoulder blades, then open the throat, then slowly roll back down with your exhale. Last inhale, rolls you up. And exhale, come back down. Place the hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Chin to chest. Push onto your hands. And slowly, slowly come back to sit on your heels. This time, try to tuck your toes if you can. Now from here, we're going to place our left hand to the left. Inhale, roll yourself up. Exhale, circle forward, place your right hand, inhale, come up, exhale, switch to the left, circle up, and then to the other side again, 
circle up, slowly come back to center, very slowly try to find your way back to child's pose, let your arms glide to the front of your mat, find a slight child's pose for just one breath here, focus on your belly, focus on the color orange, on softness, on your intention, whatever it was. Keep your toes tucked, keep your elbows lifted. A few breaths, just to massage your belly against your thighs with your inhale. Draw the belly in with your exhale. And then from here, start to plant the hands flat down. As we inhale, we're going to round through the spine, come to tabletop. Exhale, lift your knees and push yourself back into a downward facing dog. Place the toes to touch and the heels are slightly open. Push onto your hands and your fingertips as if you're trying to move the mat, like lengthen the mat. So try to lengthen the mat in between your toes and your fingers. Fingers and base of the hand moving forward, heels of the feet trying to slide back. Inhale here. As you exhale, roll yourself to a high plank, so round through the spine. When your shoulders come above your wrist, bend through your knees and let your heels fall open to the right. Your toes point to the left. Now bend through the knees, come onto maybe the fingertips of your left hand, bend really deeply and sink down. As you inhale, try to stretch through the knees, come to sort of side plank. Exhale, sink down. Now from here, maybe you can lift yourself a little bit more, maybe you can sit, so whatever you prefer. Try to lift your left leg, maybe you can step the left foot back and place your knee down. Now your right foot starts to turn to the back of your mat and with your left butt cheek, you sit down onto your left heel. Take an exhale here, as you inhale, maybe you reach yourself up, or if you can, maybe you come onto the tips of your toes with your foot flat or toes tucked. Inhale here, this is called the wild thing. Exhale, gently come back down, place your hands and bring, your back, bring, bring yourself back to a high plank. Now from this high plank, same thing on the other side. Start to bend through the knees, Move your heels to the left. Come onto the right fingertips. As you exhale, start to come back, butt towards your heels. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, butt towards your heels. Maybe you lift your right hand. Maybe you stay here. You can also place the knees flat. Maybe you lift the right leg and place the right knee down. Left foot faces towards the back of your mat. As you exhale, bring your right butt cheek to your right heel. Inhale, lift yourself up. Maybe lift your knee. Exhale, gently come back down. Place the hands. Coming to a downward facing dog, just for one inhale. One inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, slide yourself forward to high plank. Exhale, place your knees down. Now from here, we're going to again arch the spine, push the chest forwards. Now bend through the knees and pull the toes towards you. So if this is too much, you can leave the feet down. Otherwise you can point the toes, heels towards your glutes. Inhale, arch through the spine. Exhale, glue the elbows to your body and slowly, slowly come down. So now we're back in this Ashtanga Namaskara or maybe you stayed with the toes tucked or maybe you stayed in your, um, in your tabletop. Now from here, inhale, exhale, start to move your heels towards the right. Drop yourself towards the right very softly, <laughs> don't drop too hard and inhale, lift yourself up. Now from here, we're sitting on our right heel because we're going to lift ourselves. Now try to see that your right shoulder is slightly in front of your right 
uh, wrist. So you have an angle here. Now from here, we're going to straighten our left leg, push the toes down. Inhale, bring the left arm up. Now exhale, bring your left foot up and start to bend through the knee and bend through your elbow. Push the elbow and the knee towards one another. Now as you exhale, bring the elbow and knee in front of you. Inhale, open the chest. Bring the heel towards the glutes. Open your heart, open your sacral chakra. Exhale, come into a little ball. Now inhale, open again. Maybe you stay here or maybe you try to grab your ankle behind you, then flex your toes. If you do so, try to first pull the heel towards the glutes, open the chest and then push the heel or rather the ankle into your hand. Inhale here, open your chest. Exhale, slowly, slowly come back. Place the knees together, place the hands shoulder distance. Then as you inhale, bring the knees back up. If you can, keep the heels lifted, keep the feet lifted. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, come back to your Ashtanga Namaskara. And then slowly move to the other side. So bring the hips down, heels down towards the left of your mat. As you inhale, push yourself up. Your right shoulder is behind your right, or your left shoulder rather, is behind your left wrist. Then open yourself up, step your right foot back. Inhale, lift your right leg, straighten. Exhale, start to bend through your knee, maybe you flex your foot. Then you open your chest, inhale here. Elbow tries to touch your heel on the back side of your body. Exhale, now elbow and knee towards one another to the front. Inhale, open. Exhale, touch. Inhale, open. Either you stay here or you try to grab your right ankle, flex your foot. First, push the heel towards the glute. Open the chest and then push your ankle into your hand. Open the chest more. Inhale here. Think of that green light, that orange light radiating from you. Exhale. Gently step your foot back, your knee back. Hands, shoulder distance are slightly wider. Turn back to the middle of your mat. You can keep your heels lifted. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, very, very slowly bring your chest and chin back down. Now you can place the feet down, round through the spine, and slide yourself forward. And then from here, we're going to bend our knees again. Placing the heels towards our glutes. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Activate your legs, so really tighten the glutes. Place your pubic bone into the ground, press it down. Look at your mat, keep your neck long, and start to lift your right leg and down, left leg up and down, right up and down, left up and down. Now keep the heels here, keep the legs here, hands underneath the shoulders. You don't even have to use your hands for this one. Roll the shoulders back, shoulder blades meet each other. Look at your mat. As you inhale, try to lift your chest. So you could even do this without hands. You're really using your lower back muscles and pushing the chest forwards. Exhale, slowly come back down. Inhale, come back up, press the chest forward as if there's like a, a little thread from your sternum pulling yourself up and gently come back down. Now you can do this again or you can go to full bow pose. At the same time, we're going to bring our hands back trying to grab our ankles. Then once we grab our ankles, flex your feet. So this position you can make it as hard or as intense as you want. If you want to make it slightly more intense, you try to keep the knees closer towards one another. If you want to soften it a little bit, open the knees wider, or maybe you roll a blanket underneath your thighs, so you're already kind of lifted. 
So from here, flex your feet. Look at a still point at your mat. So even if, when we come up, try not to do this. So try to just look at a still point in front of you on the ground so you keep your neck long. Roll the shoulders back, slow bend in the elbows. As you inhale, start to lift your chest, only the chest. Exhale here, don't forget to breathe. As you inhale, lift your knees, keep your feet flexed. And then press the pubic bone into the ground, maybe roll yourself forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, really massaging those inner organs. Now stay still, press your chest forward, press your legs up, 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 tighten the glutes, and slowly, 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 come back down, place your right hand, your left hand, place your forehead on your hand, and shake it out. Shake your booty, massage your lower back, and feel all the sensations erupting from this back bend. Maybe your heart rate has increased. And then find your way to your back, lying down on your back. Bring the knees towards the chest again for a last squeeze. Maybe you grab hold of your elbows, maybe you hold on to your arms. Maybe you press your nose in between your knees, give yourself one big squeeze, a big, big hug. Gently come down. Maybe you bring the knees towards the left just for one quick twist. Right shoulder into your mat, look over the right shoulder. Gently bring the knees back and twist the other direction. So knees to the right, look over the left shoulder, plant your left shoulder down. Then you come back to center. And for this Shavasana, I would recommend for us to sit up into a meditative position. Um, if this is too much for you sitting for a little bit of time, you can feel free to stay lying down, relaxing. If we're, when we're sitting up, let's place both hands on our belly, below our navel. Thumbs touch and index fingers touch and you form like a diamond shape pointing down. Maybe you place a blanket underneath you or you sit against the wall just to be comfortable for your back. Find your own position and feel free to close your eyes. So close down the eyes, wind down, soften, relax. Now you can't relax on command, but you can attempt to become part of the stillness and let the stillness become part of you. So to tune in with stillness, tune in with yourself first. And in, as an ode to this class, tune in to your sensations your feelings, the physical sensations, but also the mental ones, the mental fluctuations. And underneath that, your emotions. And let them all be. Even if they're very different and even if they're contradicting each other, just let them be, let them be and live together, kind of like a mirror for our world. As the outside, so is the inside. As the big, so is the small. 
Now I'd like to invite you to come along with me into a, a little story. So just imagine yourself walking and all you can see around you is orange colored earth, dried scorched earth, dust. And as you walk, you take that dust with you underneath your feet. The dust gluing to your feet, the dust rising up with every footstep. And right in front of you, there's a group of people. And you're walking towards them. People are sitting around a fire. An orange lit fire, many, many shades, constantly changing in front of your eyes. Now, as you walk closer towards them, you see them all playing different instruments. And they're all sitting with their eyes closed, like in their own world, in some kind of a trance, where nothing is supposed to be a certain way, and everything can be. And you can be whoever, whatever you want to be. And you look at those people and they're all dressed beautifully with feathers in their hair and leaves in their hair, the feathers referring to the air element, the wind, the skies, the leaves referring to the trees, the green, the plants are earth oxygen. And around their necks, they're wearing shells, beautiful shells, reverence of the water of our earth, the life-giving oceans. Around their hips, they're wearing orange loincloths, referring to the element of fire, a life-giving element as well element that gives warmth, light, food, nourishment, energy. And you walk closer towards the fire and you start taking in the music, almost as if you start breathing the music. That's how deeply it touches you. almost until you start becoming the music. And then you allow yourself to sway, gently swaying. You can even sway wherever you're seated, gently swaying like a tree in the wind. Feeling all the vibrations of this music, of this moment, of the fire, of the earth underneath you and the wide open sky above you radiate through you like the most beautiful dance. And then you dare to really give yourself in to this moment and surrender yourself to the music, to the rhythm to the moment, and you dance, and you dance, and you dance holding on to your belly, dancing for the life-giving womb, the feminine energy, the womb 
that brings life to this earth, that grows life, source of creation, of transformation. And you feel your inner goddess. And you connect with her. And then you place one other, the other hand on top of your hand in reverence to the man, the father, the masculine part of you, the protector of the womb, the protector of life, the creator of life as well, the two of them together, the consistent and strong warrior. And this is where man and woman meet, where consistency and flow meet, where foundation and transformation meet, where you find trust to change and trust to be yourself, and where you find this beautiful dance of senses, of sensuality, of sexuality as in creation, of passion, of heart and soul and you. Now let one hand slowly travel to your heart. Let one hand rest on your belly, connecting these beautiful energies of intuition from your belly to truth from your heart, allowing them to meet and strengthen one another, allowing them to grow together, and one cannot go without the other. Envisioning that orange cycle beneath your hand on your belly and that fresh green cycle radiating from your heart to flow and flux and mingle and create this beautiful artwork inside of you. And just feel that for just one moment with your inhale, your exhale, with all your sensations, all your feelings, And then bring both hands back to your belly. Give your womb or your feminine energy, your masculine energy, a warm thank you. A warm I love you. I'm here for you. Always. Even when I forget. Let your hands glide over your belly, all the way to your chest, to your heart. And give your heart, in all its beauty, its courage and openness, a warm thank you. A warm I love you, even when I forget. And then bring your hands together in namaste, in prayer. and. Allow them to travel to your third eye, placing your thumbs into your third eye, gently pressing in gratitude for a different way of thinking, a soulful way of thinking, soul awareness and soul consciousness. Say thank you, I love you, even when I forget. And take one deep inhale, exhale, blink open your eyes, namaste.